Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, the Van Lab people sent me an email. Let me check out one of their new meters. Um, any of you who watch my channel know that you know they sent me this one to check out, and it's become my go-to meter. Really like it. This is a smaller version, less expensive. Matter of fact, real inexpensive. I haven't opened it up yet, so let's see what we got. Okay, definitely smaller size. This baby you could stick in your pocket. And let's see, it is a category 2 600 volt. Test leads. Look like uh, about two and a half feet. Let me go. About 30 inches. And it uses a couple double A's. You got a user's manual in several languages. Okay, so let's see, the battery compartment is held with a screw. And it looks like it just goes into the plastic. Looks like we have a stand here. Yep, so you can prop it up. Okay. See what the display looks like. Nice big display. Wow, fills up the whole screen. I like that, that's nice. Okay, so we have AC volts, 200 and 600. DC amps, microamps, milliamps, up to 10 amps. We've got a HFE, so we've got a place to do solid state devices. Um, diode and continuity. This must be 200,000. Ohms, 2K, no, 200 ohms. <laughs> okay, 2K, 20K, 200K, 2 mega ohms in the ohm scale. And DC volts, 200 millivolts to 600 volts. And we have a backlight and a hold button. So. Before I actually get started on testing some stuff with it, here's the specification page. You know, you can freeze it and enlarge it, take a look at it if you feel so inclined. Okay, let's measure some stuff. Um, I've got, got my power supply set on 12 volts here. So we'll pick the closest range, which is 20 volts. DC this is going to be and it shows 12.04 ok 
Okay, and if we go polarity backwards, we get a minus sign here. So you know you can use check polarity. Okay, so let's try an AC voltage. Try it got an AC outlet right here. Um, these tips, it's going to stick it in the outlet. Hmm, it looks like there's a gap there. Okay, well that's kind of nice. If you're in something a little bit delicate, close quarters, you don't have to worry about banging into something. Hmm, kind of nice. My elevator doesn't have that. Okay, so let's do this. Now we can stick these probes in an outlet. So we're in AC 200 volt range. We're going to measure 120 volts thereabouts. And then the 14. Sounds about right. Okay. Put these back on. I like that. Okay, let's see. Let's go down to check it out on a low resistance. This is a resistor I use for pre-charging capacitors. It's 25 ohms at 10%. Uh, so, yeah. Get a good connection. 25.4. Seems pretty reasonable. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got a diode laying here. Let's try a diode test right here. One way we should get a reading, the other way we shouldn't. Okay, so that's shown open that way. And we're showing 0.548. So this is a new diode, it's good. So it works on that alright. And I think it says this will beep at 50 ohms or less for continuity. Yeah, it's got a pretty reasonable beeper. Okay. Um, now this transistor test section. Um, be honest with you, I'm not sure what that's all about. But I do have a transistor here. And in the book it says that you should know whether it's an NPN or PNP, which I don't. So, I just stick it on these holes here. And when I do that, It says N there, so I assume this means that's an NPN transistor, and the HFE is 150. So that probably means something to some of you. To me it doesn't, but it did give me a reading. So if I do the same thing down here on the PNP section, I don't get anything. So, like I say, there's a lot of zooming going on with this test, so it isn't something I know a lot about. So, okay, so we've done AC, DC, ohms, continuity, diode. We have amperage here to test yet. So, let me find, uh, let me grab a battery and we'll use power supply to make a test and we'll measure how much we're, we're charging. So, give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed the battery and I got the power supply set for. 14.2 volts and I think uh, 4 amps max. So we'll hook one on the battery and we're going to go with a 10 amp range on the amperage DC amps. And we got to move this over here for the 10 amp scale. Okay, we'll hook the minus on the one of the meter leads and touch us on the battery. 
And it says 2 point, you know, we're changing 2 point, now let's let it settle. It's reading the identical to the power supply. 2.5, 2.4, 2.5. So, seems accurate according to my power supply, which is usually pretty accurate. So, um, so let's reverse the leads once, see what happens. We get a, yeah, we get a minus. So, if you got things backwards, you get a minus. Okay, so I think we've checked most everything. Um, it does do DC amperage, but we can't measure AC amps. We need to get one of their clamp meters for that. I mean, I really like that too. So. Backlight stays on for 30 seconds and shuts off automatic. Just a plain, basic, real lightweight, accurate, handy little meter. This would be great to, you know, throw in your vehicle or your toolbox or just to have laying around. And uh, if it's anything at all like my other meter, I'm really going to like it. And I kind of like these probes, so overall I give it a thumbs up. I mean, just basic, inexpensive, useful. All that kind of good stuff. <laughs> Not that I like to give everybody, uh, you know, thumbs up for every little detail, but I don't see a problem with this thing. Seems to do what it says. There is a protector on here. There. So, if you're looking for inexpensive, basic, accurate meter check it out I'll put a link where you can get it on Amazon and like I say they just sent me one of these I don't get any other compensation other than I got a meter so if you think you would like one go for it thanks for watching see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe